Rebel Revive. How you guys doing? Hey. Introduce yourself and give us your role in the band. I'm Matthew, uh, I'm the guitar player and singer. I'm Chris, I play lead guitar and it's sing backup. Alrighty. Well we have two questions from we have two questions from Ricky Lugosi on Facebook. Uh, first one, is the band going the DIY route or are y'all planning to get a label? Uh, that's actually a good question. It's something we've been working on lately. Uh, we, we have, from the ground up, have, have been a DIY band, uh, doing everything ourselves. And so a lot of labels see that and like it because they don't have to do as much work. <laughs> uh, but we're not sure if we're willing to really like give over like all our creativity and stuff like that to a label because a lot of times that's what happens. So we're probably going to do the DIY route as long as we can until we find a label that's willing to work with us on uh, being creative and, and you know not taking away from our creativity. So. Awesome. All right. Okay. Next question. Why did you decide to leave New Year's Day? Uh, Actually, that's a, that's a funny one. It was like one of the hardest choices in my life to leave that band, and I still love them dearly. Um, I think it was just a, uh, a matter of like, I wanted to start a band and be, um, you know, a, a part of like creating the art um, for myself, because I had a lot of songs that I had written and that I've always wanted to work on, and so I felt like the timing was right just with uh, what was going on with the band, and it was kind of in a transition stage. Uh, so I felt like that was kind of the right time to do it. And uh, shortly after, I started Rebel Revive, and I've been, been working on it ever since. So. Awesome. All right. So I have two questions from Gianna Franco. Um, what influences your music? Uh, what influences Rebel Revive is basically just uh, what I've seen in the music scene lately. Um, I just feel like a lot of bands are just preaching a message that's just garbage. That's about uh, just partying, like wasting your life away. And I wanted to make music that was positive, that can um, feel into people's lives or a, a positive reaction and, and um, hopefully spark inspiration in people's lives. Um, and so I just make music from the bottom of my heart um, that people can enjoy. So that's where the inspiration comes from. Awesome. Uh, I've, been, I've been playing uh, music for 11 years, and I named our album 11 because of that, uh, because it's been 11 years of me just singing, songwriting, um, and trying to do it on my own. Um, I've been singing as long as I can remember, but uh, playing guitar for about, I think it's like 15 or 16 years now, so, yeah. Awesome. Alright, Monica Baldrige wants to know, where, uh, where did the band name come from, and did you come up with it yourself? Yes. Um, the band name Rebel Revive basically comes from um, reviving a rebellious attitude in people um, in terms of just getting out there and being brave and speaking out about what you believe in. Um, because I feel like a lot of people don't, they're kind of shy and, and uh, you know, to themselves it's just fine. But I feel like our voices are so extremely powerful. And so uh, it's just a matter of reviving that rebellious attitude. Because to me that's rebellious. Um, standing on the stage and saying, oh yeah, let me see your middle fingers, that's not rebellious to me, that's just stupid, so um, I'm just, you know, trying to inspire people to, to be rebellious and speak out for what they believe in, so, uh, and yes, I did come up with it myself, so. <laughs> awesome, alright. Jenna Marie wants to know, what's your favorite ride at Disney? Oh man, that's a tough one. Uh, my favorite ride at Disney is probably Haunted Mansion. Um, and because growing up, my mom would take me to, to Disneyland, I would be terrified of that ride. Like, I was so scared of it. And so finally, when I, I think I was probably like, man, I don't know how old I was, but um, finally I kind of braved that fear of being scared of Haunted Mansion, and ever since it's been my favorite, so. Yeah, um, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I start off every, every trip to Disney on uh, Tower of Terror. So that's, I mean, it's California Adventure, but still, it's probably, and then Space Mountain after that. Yeah. Always a fun ride. I know Disney World has a uh, Tower of Terror too. That's yeah. definitely my favorite. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. So here's a funny one. Do you like big butts? And you cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> you other brothers can't deny. <laughs> All right. Zombie Bullets on Twitter wants to know. Um, except for Warped Tour, when can we expect a tour from you guys? Um, we'd like to tour. Probably uh, this fall or winter, that's kind of um, the idea. Um, hopefully, Warp Tour will kind of give us a, a rolling start for that. And, uh, and, you know, we love to hit the road. We love traveling and playing music for anyone and everyone. So, I'm um, hoping by the end of the year, if not early next year. So. Okay. Um, and what cities do you plan to hit? Oh, man. Um, we want to hit just basically any and every city. It depends on what band we're playing with and, and uh, touring with and stuff. But um, 
I personally like playing smaller venues, so I like the intimate, like, kind of experience, and, um, you know, I, I like, you know, even a crowd of 10 is awesome because people just leave, like, so stoked. They they got to be a part of such a small show and such an intimate thing, so, um, so you know, big cities, small cities, probably just, you know, anything uh, in between, so. Chris has none. <laughs> um, I have, man, I'd say I probably have like 15 tattoos. Um, the one that's most meaningful to me is my 1111 one, um, which was the date that I met my birth mom. I was actually adopted at birth. And uh, when I turned 21, um, my birth mom contacted me through Facebook. And uh, we actually met at one of a, the shows that my old band was playing. And uh, so, um, actually it was, the, it was the date that I first heard her voice, shortly after I got to meet her at one of our shows. And, um, and so, yeah, it was just a really meaningful experience to me. And that's definitely my most meaningful. I have other ones, I have a hidden Mickey tattoo. I have, um, I just got some skeleton keys. I'll show you. This is my newest one. So those are dedicated to my grandparents. So I have a lot of tattoos and uh, don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Yeah. Alright. Bean Misery on Twitter wants to know what's your favorite snack? Oh man, my favorite snack's pizza. <laughs> um, I love pizza, like any any kind of pizza, I'll just eat it. Uh, what about you? Anything with tapatio. I don't know. I love. <laughs> yeah, <and laughs> that's milk. the Mexican in me. I love hot sauce. <laughs> Always milk for me too. Gotta go with milk. Okay, so Bacon wants to know who would you be today if milk never existed, and what would you drink instead? Oh man. Uh, I'd be the doctor for Dr. Pepper, because I love Dr. Pepper. Um, yeah, man, if milk didn't exist, that's, that's tragic. I can't even think about that. <laughs> that hurts my heart. <laughs> All right. Tess Kaufman on Facebook wants to know, um, what do you expect for the future of Rebel Revive? Um, Rebel Revive, uh, basically right now we're, we're working off our 11 EP, um, and so that's six songs that, um, you know, I, I wrote, recorded, and all that stuff. Um, and so we're looking at maybe doing a, a full length sometime early next year. Um, we have about four or five songs written for it, so that might be the next thing. And also touring, uh, like we're talking about. So um, right now it's just a matter of kind of feeling out like where things are, what bands would like to take us out, um, and just getting the word out there. So, you know, we're out here playing in the line at Warp Tour. Um, you know, we're playing like three hours straight, something like that. Just playing for whoever wants to hear songs. And so, um, you know, it's, it's probably after Warp Tour we'll kind of see what the, what the future holds. So. message behind the band is just uh, speaking out for what you believe in, um, staying true to who you are, and uh, my, my personal motto is live love, and I think that carries over into the band, just love everyone you encounter, uh, just make it a positive experience, and um, you know, and you know, just inspiring creativity is, is the message of the band, so. Alright, and uh, this one kind of piggybacks off the last one, but what's the band's goal? Um, band's goal is to just make a memorable experience for every single person we meet. Um, you know, I, I love, I know Chris is the same, like, we love people to just leave that encounter, that experience, just feeling like, you know, empowered to go out and make a change in the world. Um, that's kind of where our song The Voices comes from. It's just a matter of, um, we are the voices of our generation, so make everything you do um, about love and about positivity and, and uh, make a difference in the people's lives around you, so. Awesome. Um, and then just a couple questions that I had. Uh, how did your parents react when you told them you wanted to be a musician? Uh, I actually was fortunate enough to have a dad that was super supportive of it. Uh, he grew up playing music and touring, so, um, you know, when I picked up my first drum set, he was stoked. He actually got it for me and was really excited that I wanted to play music as well. And uh, it still is, so. Yeah, my parents uh, have been amazing. I happen to be blessed with good parents, too, that, like, um, as soon as I grab, I've been playing for like 16 years. Um, if you could be in a horror movie of your choice, who would you be and what movie is it? Uh, I'd be Jigsaw. <laughs> I love Saw movies. Um, and I just love how creepy he is. I actually saw, um, I was part of an interview with him, um, and his normal talking voice is that voice he uses in the movie. It's freaking scary. Just like meeting him, he's like, hello. And I was like, what? <laughs> it's freaking, yeah, so I'd be Jigsaw. Maybe, uh, what is the little kid's name in Pet Cemetery? Gage? 
Oh man. Yeah, yeah. that kid was creepy. So. I can't put my feet down uh, like under a bed anymore just because that kid <laughs> scared scared the crap out of me. So. Yes. <laughs> you weren't in a band, what would you be doing at this point in your life? Um, I like I like doing art. Like I love photography, graphic design. So I'd probably be doing something along the lines of that. I'm kind of a tech geek. I've done like AV stuff for years, so I love like recording bands and doing that stuff. So even if I wasn't in a band, I'd still be doing something with music. So, yeah. Awesome. All right. Um, what kind of music do you listen to when you're on the road? Uh, I was I was hardcore. <laughs> Listen to a lot of hardcore, um, and then also I'm kind of like when I'm on the red, I'm kind of like polar opposite. So I'm like hardcore, and then just like really mellow stuff. Um, it's kind of the stuff I listen to. So yeah, I I think on the, on this tour we've been uh, he's been providing a lot of the hardcore music, and I've, I've been I've been like I do uh, like indie folk on my own. So I've been doing like a lot of like Iron and Wine and Bon Iver. So a lot of really like mellow stuff, 90s. Like hip hop, even so, just kind of anything, <laughs> anything to keep me awake. For the long drive ahead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What is your favorite and least favorite part of touring? Um, I think my favorite favorite part is meeting new people. Like I love just like interacting with people um, I haven't met, like learning about them and being able to share my music with them. Uh, my least favorite is not being able to shower. <laughs> And like just being out in the sun, being like burnt all day, it's kind of kind of crazy. So yeah, uh, I think this is my first tour ever. So like probably sleeping in, you know, you wake up and the car's super muggy when you're sleeping in the car just because everybody's breath and everything. That's the worst. But yeah, the best is I don't know. Just I was super tired. I woke up at like 2:30 to drive this morning, and we got to the thing to the venue. I was dead tired. As soon as we started playing, my energy just went way up. So I just love playing for people. Question. What is your advice to anyone wanting to start a band? Uh, definitely do it. <laughs> um, it's like the most amazing experience you'll ever have. Um, you know, at least that's what I found for myself. Like just playing music and just being around people that are willing to like listen to the, the hard work you put into it is so awesome. So, um, and then also on that, like I just say a lot of people are gonna like say oh you can't do it or you know oh you want to be in a band yeah right just keep pressing on like honestly there's gonna be a lot of like discouragement a lot of like bullying and stuff like that but it doesn't matter honestly like do what you love to do and chase your passions so yeah uh same just you know if, if all you have is like a, a bedroom that you got to cram the entire be- uh, band into just do whatever you can to just uh create your own music I saw this, I think it was like some meme to, uh, the other day. It's like, if somebody ever tells you your dream is silly, just remember there's some millionaire walking around who invented the, the pool noodle. It's just like, yeah. it's pretty rad. Like, yeah, like your dream might seem silly to some people, but it's worth it to pursue it. You never know what can happen. Like the people that you'll meet, I wouldn't know half the people I know if it wasn't for music, so, yeah. You know, it's like Disney, uh, you know, Walt Disney was laughed at wanting to make, you know, an amusement park in the marsh. Yeah. Now look at him, you know. Yeah. Disney owns half of the world. I love, I love that his, uh, sorry, I love that his motto or their mission statement is make people happy. It's that simple. It's like, that's all he cares about, just making people happy. So yeah. It's pretty rad. Anyway. All right, well, um, if you guys want to give him uh, your, like, Facebook information. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we're on Facebook. It's facebook.com backslash Rebel Revive. Uh, we're on Twitter, backslash Rebel Revive, uh, rebelrevive.com, Instagram, backslash Rebel Revive. So try anything, Rebel Revive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so. All right. Well, thank you guys for doing the interview with me. Yeah, awesome. thank you. Thank you. See you guys next time.